Hello, this is Sebastian Moyapasa from Tucson, Arizona, United States, and you are in your channel, Geology, Life, and Healing. And this time we want to talk about geology, uh, bandits classification in perfect copper, gold, and molybdenite deposits. And uh, these videos are dedicated for uh, the students who are at the university studying geology or uh, mining related um, and careers. And uh, for the students also who already finished um, the university and they are looking for their first job in the perfect copper industry. So I hope all this is going to help you a little bit and you're understanding the perfect copper systems. And if you are looking for a job, we will find you probably in core logging, uh, perfect copper deposit, core logging. Okay, let's start it. And second slide, and reference. First uh, reference, uh, Gustav Hand, 1975. Uh, the name, uh, the title, it's the Porphyry Copper uh, Deposit at uh, El Salvador, Chile. And the second one is uh, Toy 2000, and Gold Ridge Porphyry uh, Descriptive and Genetic Models and Their Role in Exploration and Discovery. The third one, it's uh, Toy 2010, Porphyry Copper systems and the fourth one it's uh, mark reed 2013 debut magmatic hydrothermal system one fluid gels all the alteration and veins mm -hmm. very interesting so the first one in 1975 described all the um uh, type as a, a with uh, letters and uh, Mark Reed uh, at the end it says uh, we have dark um, minerals for the biotite and, and gray minerals for um, uh, sericide and we have green minerals for um, chloride so it has been changed a little bit in the front 1975 and 2013 that I hope is going to be exciting for all of you. Next one. Yeah, so this is the Bain's cl uh, classification as we can see it. And, uh, and in this side, we have this, uh, oh, oh, excuse me for that. And let me put it laser okay now we have a laser so the uh, it has been classified from the earliest uh, to to the late so it's going to be a v a v t m a b d and e okay and a b means early biotide every early biotide uh, um, time m it's magnetite a it's a uh, Basically, that's where it started the uh, porphyry uh, system uh, development. And before this tree, it's a uh, um, tardy magmatic bend. Uh, and as we can see, this tree, it's, uh, uh, it has over um, 800 to 600 uh, centigrades and uh, the temperature. Those two, and all these are potassic. And the first one, and the A, is the potassic alteration, 600 uh, uh, Celsius and so uh, uh, part of the um, hydrothermal system. Okay, B uh, B it's a chloride sericide pro temperature around 400, and D it's a sericide um, the sericide alteration uh, 300 uh, Celsius and E it's high sulfidation system lower than 250 uh, Celsius and the Principal minerals, AV is biotite plus minus quartz and AVT or early biotite uh, time, granular quartz um, and filling and K first part, M magnetite, actinolite. Era A, it's early quartz veinlets with K first part and anhydride. V, quartz anhydride sulfites, D, sulfites and sulfates with minor and minor quartz and carbonate cuts a a and b vein so if it, this d and so this is the latest so it will cut any earlier vein that's what I'm t telling in this case and e is similar to d the uh, d type with carbonate and anchorite and siderite 
And uh, so sulfite mineralization, and uh, we have bornite, cacoparite, pyrite, bornite, cacoparite, and uh, something uh, important in this one is probably B, because that's where the sunation of uh, molybdenite or the position of the molybdenite occurs, and it's going to be chloride sericide uh, alteration. And D is uh, mainly pyrite, minor cacoparite, bornite, and sericidic alteration. And previously, and by the below, well, it has been uh, called a philic alteration in this area. So next one we have here, uh, meaning of the bayonets in the perfect uh, copper gold molybdenite deposit. So, and the first one, AV, AVTM, and A corresponding to the tardy magmatic event, potassium alteration structures assigned to this stage form part of the potassium alteration zones. It's known that estimates that uh, its is emplacement occurred in a semi-ductile environment. Evidence is uh, this sinus shape. So this is serpentine shape of the quartz bainlet. Yeah, that's what they did why they think it's a semi-ductile environment. Through a process of potassium metasomatic at temperatures between 800 and um, 600 uh, Celsius. Okay, next, uh, B type, B like boy, uh, type corresponding to transitional stage, 400 uh, Celsius, close open fractures, the system uh, lost uh, volume, and it's cooled down. And main stage for the molybdenite deposition. Very important, this uh, B type. And uh, D, uh, D type, D, D uh, like and uh, Dave, um, D type banglets corresponding to the main hydrothermal stage with temperature lower than uh, for, uh, 400 uh, Celsius, uh, sericide chloride uh, alteration assemblage, and later uh, sericidic, and finally chloride retrograde over biotite alteration. So something we, we have to uh, know, it's, uh, uh, in this case, it's a uh, uh, biotite will alter to chloride. So it is, it's going to cut uh, the, um, the B type, A type bainets. Okay. Next one, E type, E of, uh, uh, e type uh, associated to late hydrothermal stage. In this case, would be mainly associated with the high sulfidation. It's going to be a little bit farther from the perfect copper itself uh, uh, system, but uh, it has uh, good values of uh, um, lead, zinc, arsenic, galena, spheroid, and suposalt. And uh, once again, earlier, late, and uh, principal minerals in, in this uh, chart. Next one, and um, in the first one, we, we are going to see it's AV, er, AVT, early biotite, granular quartz with a clear sinus biotite, a hollow, hello. So we can see this uh, sinus or serpentine shape, that's what they, they call in everything dark, gray, black, it's a secondary biotype. Next one is A-type banglet, irregular shape, so this is the shape of the bainet, it's a core, and um, quartz, biotite, hello, so all this is hello, uh, and sulfites. And uh, B-type, B-type, it has quartz, uh, without uh, hello alteration and it has molybdenite uh, at the at the border. So the, this is the bayonet and molybdenite. And um, D type D type is a quartz in this case tourmaline sulfide and a chloride sericide uh, hello. And this is how how it looks like. Next one. And uh, this is the M type, uh, magnetite, M is for magnetite, actinolite, cacoparite, quartz, cut it by um, carbonate uh, vein. So this is the uh, uh, magnetite, actinolite vein, cut it by this uh, carbonate, which is cal calcite vein, right? Next one. In this case, we're going to talk um, a little bit about uh, perfect... Uh, um, Porphyry cross-cutting relationship. So different type of uh, 
um, intrusive rocks and which one is going to cut which one. So the earliest is going to be this sub uh, volcanic basement for the Arizona, for the Arizona state, for example, will be the, um, uh, granite. It's uh, 1.2 or 1.4 billion years ago. So this is going to be the basement. And then we have this intermediate magmatic, uh, hydrothermal, intermediate porphyry, early porphyry. So all those porphyry is going to be in this, uh, in this shape will cut the early interest of which is going to be the granite. And, uh, so for our case, the porphyry copper system that we're going to study is a porphyry copper gold molybdenum. And it's this um, blue uh, square shape. And so uh, something we are going to see, the late mineral porphyry is going to be this dark. It's going to cut the previous intrusive rocks, including the alteration, but uh, the limits of, uh, of the um, dikes, there's not going to be much alteration. So, and so it's not going to add a uh, copper mineralization to, to, so it's a late event, no? So late type event. Okay. Now let's talk about Bainlet's cross cutting relationship. So in this uh, Bainlet chronology, so we have the same, uh, earlier that we saw earlier and late. So the latest one will be D type quartz pyrite D, so which is going to be like this one in this side. So D will cut um, chloride, pyrite, B, and A, and E, V, and M, uh, bain it. So it will, it, that's exactly what it does. So the chloride, uh, pyrite is cut, cut it by D, E, V, cut it, you know, A, cut it, a cut it, M cut it. So all the veins will be cut. It. So B, uh, quartz, uh, central pyrite, uh, suture, right? It's a B, you have B, will cut A, will cut, uh, AV, and will cut M2, right? And you have different types of M. AV will cut M. So AV is, uh, this one, right? So this is the M, M, uh, will cut M. And M, M is uh, uh, the earliest painted in, in this graph. Okay, next one. So uh, this is being a cross-cutting relationship with alteration. So we have uh, this square, that's what we repeated, right, for the periphery system. And uh, so we have the base, uh, so the calcic uh, alteration, but the center, we are going to have this potassic uh, alteration, chloride, sericide, and uh, sericide, and areas in the 60s and 17, that's what we, we, ha we can be called um, philic alteration. And then this uh, quartz pyrophyllite will be this um, a high sulfidation system, uh, a little bit far from, from the main uh, perfect copper gold uh, molybdenite system. Yeah. And let's go to the next one. And in this, this is the same chart. The only difference is uh, looking which bayonets will cut uh, to which one. So it's the latest E, E will cut D, B, A, M, A, V, A, T, and A. A, V. So that's what uh, it, it says. Uh, e will cut D, V, E, E, and D will cut all the above. B will cut all the above. A will cut all the above. M all, all the above. So when we are in this shape, in this uh, blue rectangle, we, we can see it. So it's the potassium alteration, right? And in the middle, we have M type bainlets. And in the center, which you want to cut M uh, bainlets, is we have A, right? In the potassium alteration. And then B type of uh, bainlets will, uh, will cut M and A and another side M, right? And the other side, and this one will cut AV. AV and uh, going upper, we have the sericitic alteration, D, uh, D type of bainlets. D type of bainlets will cut uh, chloride uh, sericide, which is the B type. And finally, E type, which is going to be way above and in the um, high sulfidation system, will cut some of the D bainlets 
and if it, even if it goes deeper, it might cut, but you know, it's a, a very high in the system. And, um, so let's see the next one. So, um, in conclusion for, for this one, it's basically lateral. We have uh, this propylidic outside, uh, and early biotide, uh, veinlets. And some people would say, yeah, we have early biotide, everything's uh, potassium. No, it belongs to propylidic. So you have M and, uh, M and A, uh, type of bayonets, that's where the potassium center of the alteration will be. And it's, this is going to be um, vertical, right? How it's going to see. And this is going to be how we don't want to see the lateral alteration. And we have sections, right? Like north-south. Okay. Next one. And uh, basically, we cover uh, everything that we, uh, we, uh, we could see. Um, different type of intrusive earlier, uh, during uh, mineralization, uh, post minerals, and different type of bandits. And uh, we already did uh, alteration, mineralization, and rock forming minerals, alteration forming minerals. And this, uh, I think, uh, with all this, we are ready for uh, core logging and the puffy copper deposits. So that's how we started. I hope this helped you. And uh, uh, and this is the English version. And I hope this will help you more uh, or a little bit about the understanding and the puffy copper systems and puffy copper industry and um, thank you very much uh, for those uh, 400 uh, now 430 uh, subscribers please subscribe and share and i hope uh, it, it helps uh, as much people as, uh, as possible and if you want uh, this presentation uh, powerpoint presentation uh, send me e an email to to the channel and core logging sm at uh, gmail.com and i'll send it to the powerpoint presentation Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.